an unofficial border crossing in the North Country used by tens of thousands of migrants over the last several years now has new warnings for anyone trying to cross. Our Catherine Huntley was there for the last night of Roxham Road. As the clock struck midnight, Canadian border officials tore off the tape and cut the plastic on this new sign at Roxham Road, warning migrants to stop, do not cross. But as they did that, just 50 meters away, a last taxi pulled up with a family trying to make it across in time. Just go, please. Their driver urging them to run. Don't take the luggage, just go, go. And they did, a man and young child crossing through. Officials allow the family through, their bags left in limbo on the American side to be sorted out later. Moments like those underscoring the scramble of the last moments where Roxham Road was a place refugees could enter and ask for asylum in Canada. For six years, it's been an unofficial crossing point for tens of thousands looking to make a new life in Canada. Pretty much everyone like them goes through the small, dead-end rural road in the North Country. But the better services and faster immigration process they sought were in high demand. Quebec was overwhelmed by a sharp influx of migrants in recent years. And so Canada turned to the U.S. to renegotiate the safe third country agreement. Friday, the leaders of both nations announced sweeping changes that closed the loophole of Roxham Road and created this mad dash to get across before time ran out. The buses of migrants keep coming. This Greyhound bus from New York City pulls into Plattsburgh just before 4 a.m. When its passengers bought their tickets and boarded, Roxham Road was open. When they got off, they learned it's closed. And no line of cabs awaits them to ferry them along the last leg of their journey and no instructions on what they should do next. One driver who did show up tells us in his 38 years driving cabs, he's never seen anything like this. It's bad because they're closing the border and well, you see right now, I got children in my personal car, keeping them warm. I feel sorry for the women and children. These people are running for their lives. You know, they're scared. A second bus arrives, and at dawn, a third. They're scheduled to keep coming. Wayne Seymour normally would be driving these people to the border, but not this night. He tells us Canadian border officials told him not to. They just dropped it on us. They said, don't come up after midnight. Instead, he's offering to buy the migrants coffee next door while they wait to get them out of the cold. But while he's doing that, we follow the other driver, who takes a van load of passengers up to Roxham Road anyway. They cross into Canada. The process looks the same as those who came before midnight, but we're told it's not. Even now, five hours after the closing of Roxham Road, people continue to cross into Canada. However, Canadian border officials tell us this is not where they'll be staying. Instead, they'll be bussed over to the I-87 official border crossing and then likely sent back to America. What happens to them after that is unclear. In Champlain, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.